Hey guys, so I am back. It's been a very, very long week. The uh, kids started school and I had to adjust to their schedule because now my daughter is getting on the bus with my son. So that was pretty... I, I cried. Can you believe that? So yeah, it, nonetheless, busy week. Um, I've been prepping. I cleaned out my entire freaking wardrobe and took out all of the clothes that I just haven't worn downsized and then I ordered a couple of things so you might see like a fall wardrobe update kind of thing. Next week is the Blog Lovin' Awards which I'll be attending so I had to pick an outfit for that and I have a really fun day prepped for that day because it's on a Monday so I'll probably bring you guys along with me Snapchat and all that crap but there's one full week of voting left so I will leave the link down below if you guys didn't know, I did mention, I got nominated for Best Booty Blog of 2016, so I'm super excited. But if you'd like to vote, you can. You can vote every day, once a day, up until, I guess, the 12th. I don't know if it ends, like, at midnight type thing on the 11th. A couple of you have been asking me to do a What's in My Bag featuring this bad boy here. Now, uh, I picked this up, when was this, like a month ago, maybe? So yeah, I picked this up. Uh, I initially, I have been after this for years and every single time it comes back in stock, it's a really popular bag. I'm not gonna try to pronounce the name of the brand because I don't wanna butcher it, but every single time I have tried to purchase this, it has been out of stock. I can't get my hands on it, especially the color scheme that I, I wanted in with the, uh, this is the ballerina shade on the inside because you can get it raw where it's just black or plain old black with the coating and then they have a bunch of different colors it has a strap and the studs here are in gold now i've been wearing a lot of gold as you can tell and i just i wanted it i wanted it so bad so when i was able to get my hands on it i was super excited i just went and placed the order um i was happy that I got this is the mini mini size so it's pretty much the size of my freaking head the uh, I was gonna get the mini now I'm so glad that I picked up this mini mini size because one you can still fill a ton of crap or you can put a ton of crap in it um, and then the other reason is a lot of people think that I'm like super short or that I'm shorter I'm not I'm 5'8 and not that 5'8 is extremely tall by any means but I am a little bit taller than the average person and I'm, I'm super tiny I have a tw I have 25 size waist so anything like a crossbody bag if it's huge it's just gonna drown me out first off obviously is my cell phone uh, I picked up this case from a brand called Sonics I think it is but they just opened a Nordstrom rack near me so I just picked up a new case Next up, I have my Chanel wallet, and this is in the caviar leather. I'm not sure the actual name of it. I, I don't know if it's like a card holder. I can't remember. But this is their newer style that has this round flap, and it's in the silver hardware. I purchased this back in June for my birthday. It was my birthday gift to myself. But inside, I just have more cash, credit cards, debit cards. Uh, my ID, insurance cards, like all the important stuff lives in here and it has a ton of space to fit more. Uh, I don't want to overstuff it because I don't want to ruin the shape or distort it at all. I'm just really picky about what goes in here. But it's so beautiful. I'm so happy I picked it up. A couple of you asked me to do a review on it. Uh, if you guys were thinking of getting something from Chanel, I think this is the perfect starter piece but it's so pretty and I opted for the caviar leather just because I feel I'm a klutz I will bang it into the wall I'll walk into it I will walk into a parked car it's god awful I'm always dropping or breaking shit I lost my cat bird ring and I had to <laughs> order a new one because it just slipped off of my freaking fingers I don't know how but anyway um yeah I'm very very clumsy so I was super scared that I might like, I don't know, maybe I always put like pens and shit in my purse. So I didn't want anything to poke it or ruin it. Next up, I have my Louis Vuitton. This is the PM Agenda. As you guys remember, it was maybe last year or sometime. I purchased it because I wanted a holder for my passport 
and I just felt that this made more sense and I can just you know put my notes in it and I do use it I have all of like my schedule like stuff with the kids doctor's appointments um, birthdays and just appointments in general and things like even blogging stuff I keep in here next up I have my sunglasses and I have been using the round Ray-Bans I love these I love the vibe that it gives I think it's very true to my style and then in the bottom of my bag live all of my beauty products they're all just thrown around I should get a bag so that they don't ruin the inside of my bag but look at all this crap I have issues. I always have a tube of the Glossier Bomb.com laying around. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Cheat, which is getting, it's getting there. But I use this sucker all the time. A newer thing that I got in the this Space and K bag uh, was the Bomb de Rose, but it's in like the lip gloss form of it. I really like this stuff and it makes my lips really nice and soft. I have the colored pink one, the pink tone one, and the pot, but this is a lot different. It's a lot more emollient, I should say. Um, and then I have a perfume. This is by Rito's, or actually a perfume oil. This is the by Rito Gypsy Water. I always keep this in my bag. I specifically purchased this for my purse. Um, it's one of those scents where I can just, I can wear it all year round. I don't really care. It smells so good. And the fact that it's an oil, I feel like it stays on longer. It, you know, it doesn't get everywhere. I don't spray it everywhere. I dispense the perfect amount and I know how much to use because a little of this stuff really goes a long way. It's very um, pungent, I guess you can say, but in a good way. Um, next, I have Kat Von D's Bow and Arrow. You guys know I love that one. Uh, a new lip liner. Mm, excuse me, I'm like all oh, gassy. That was the Wendy's. MAC Lip Liner and Oak. I'm a huge fan. I think Strip Down's in here. Yeah, it is. Look. Hold on, I can get it. The Kylie Dolce K Lip Liner. I have a spoolie just to brush my eyebrows. I get really picky of some of the hairs. Are, they're like not all in one direction. Truffle Tees. Brought this shit back. Pulled it out of the archives. Still smells like fucking Play-Doh. It's disgusting, but I love it. I have a newer lip balm, and this is by a brand called Lila B. And this is their Bee Kissed lip balm, and it's just a clear lip balm, but the packaging, it makes me think, you ever watch, I'm such a dumbass, you ever watch those Goosebump movies? And I used, when I was little, okay, when I was younger, do you remember, I think it was like, I can't remember the name of it, it had something to do with the castle and knights, one of the Goosebump movies. And this guy or this knight had three stones that were white. And back in the day, I used to use Mentos and play and act like I was using the stones to go back in time. Uh, but that is what this packaging reminds me of. It makes me think of the Goosebumps movie and me playing with Mentos. If you've never seen it, you'll have no idea what the hell I'm talking about and I just wasted time talking about Mentos. Okay, we're getting down to the end here. I have more perfume. Uh, one combination that I've been using, and I'm actually gonna do a review on this. It's coming next, sometime next week, so stay tuned. And it is the new Replica Filters. Now this is in the Blur scent. There's Blur and then there's Glow, I believe. <laughs> I should have looked before I started filming this video, but this is an oil that you mix with the actual replica scents to get your own kind of filtered or customized scent. It smells so good. I layer the uh, blur with the Lazy Sunday Morning. That's what I'm wearing today and what I have been wearing, but I carry both of these around in my purse. And what they've done is they've put it in the smaller, tinier bottle, which I like but it smells so good. It smells fresh. It says cotton and musky notes, uh, but it smells so good. They both smell really good together. Now I fit all of that crap in this tiny little bag that's the size of my head. And I still have space to put whatever else I want to in here, but that's what it looks like on the inside. It's very a very structured bag, which I kind of prefer. I don't like slouchy 
soft bags. They just, I don't, I don't know, I don't like them. So yeah, this is all the crap that I've been lugging around in my purse. But a lot of videos coming your way, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.